JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. Who should get the EIDL? If you don't have payroll, you're not gonna qualify for the PPP. If you don't have self-employment income, you're not gonna qualify for the PPP. How do you know you have self-employment income? Go to your individual tax return. If you have a Schedule SE, that means you have self-employment income because that's where all of the net self-employment income ends up for you to be subject to the self-employment tax. If you have a Schedule C, you're looking at line 31, but that flows into Schedule SE. If you have a K-1 that is subject to self-employment tax, which is indicated by box four or box 14, that's a K-1 from a partnership. Look at the top left, it's say form 1065. If that's subject to self-employment tax, you'd see it on Schedule SE. If you're an independent contractor and you're not filing on Schedule C and you're just reporting the gross, you would need your 1099 miscellaneous, which is box seven. And you'll know that it's subject to self-employment tax because it's going to be on your Schedule SE. Point is, if you don't have that, then it makes sense to do the EIDL. Who can do the EDI? Uh, e -E -E -I -D -L. <laughs> if you have an ID number okay, for your business okay, and you don't have payroll, then you can get an EIDL if the business is active. Okay. If you're going to get the EIDL and you have real estate, well, you can get it for the real estate. If you are at risk of losing your rent, if you own these rental properties personally, you do it in your social security number and you'd only be able to do it one time. If you have multiple entities of real estate and they are in single member LLCs that hold the real estate, not going to be PPP, it's going to be EIDL and you would apply for each one in the different ID numbers. I'm going to ask how many employees and you don't have any. Well, you're the owner, so you put one. When it asks what your gross income is, it's just, in essence, what's your gross income in the last 12 months or for 2019? If you don't know it exact, put a nice estimate in there. What is the COGS, cost of goods sold? This is on the application. It's just your expenses. The rest should be very simple to walk through. The status right now on April 13th in terms of the amount is we're a little bit out of a loss because it should be 10 grand for weeks. No one got anything or heard anything. And then Friday the 10th, people were getting some EIDL money, but it was around 3000 or 3,800. One person did get 10,000 from what I understand. Point is, is get the EIDL. You're not gonna be able to answer a question right or wrong. From the standpoint of the number of employees, that's W-2 only, not 1099. Now, if you're a sole proprietor, single member LLC, independent contractor, self-employed, and you want to get the EIDL, if you qualify for the PPP, you get that, you use that. Then you use the EIDL, and then when those things are exhausted, then you would get unemployment for any and all of that. If you have any of this, okay, then you are able to get the EIDL. It's just a matter of when. So if you qualify for PPP, you get that first, then you get EIDL, and then you get the unemployment. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I've got a playlist that talks about the self-employment. I've got a number of our playlists that talk about the PPP, the PPP for the self-employed. So hopefully that helps. Good luck to you. And JJ, the CPA here, you've never met a CPA quite like me.